Uh, Coach, you have a bunch of great things going on this season. Let's start with Saturday. How cool was it for Amaya to get her uh, 1,000th point? Yeah, so that was that was pretty special. On top of that, her, she did get a thousand. Uh, she got it on her birthday, so that was really neat. And what was awesome was seeing the community come out. The gym was packed, um, and, and it really, really showed a lot of support for us, and most importantly for her. She had six three pointers last season. She has more than doubled in that already this season. How much has she worked on perimeter shooting, ball handling, things like that? All right. Well, then, clearly you can see it if you're looking at the stats. Um, you know, she's taken a lot more of those shots, and it's because she's capable of doing it. She puts the work in. She works on her craft. Um, so that's that's the result of it. Uh, a month ago, you got to play in Philly at the Wells Fargo Center. How nice was it to coach in an NBA arena? Yeah, it was it was, it was a neat moment for all the kids, um, for us as staff, absolutely as well. But it was uh, yeah, it's one of those things where you check off the bucket list. You're 15 and 0 right now. Uh, how happy are you with the way the girls are playing? So we we've, we've had some real tough uh, away games, and I think they're taking care of they're taking care of the teams that they're that they're in front of. They're not looking ahead. Um, they're not worrying about somebody on the schedule further down the road. And that's what I'm most proud of. Um, when we just prepare and you're you're in the moment, um, you know, we're getting the results that we want. Anyone who saw the district final last year knows that your girls can play defense with what they did against DeLone. This year, again, you're only giving up about 26 points a game. Why are they so good on the defensive end? Just because they they, they play for one another. And if you can get a group of individuals you know, doing one common goal, that's, that's, that's what they're doing right now. And, it, and it's a lot of fun to see them. They get after it, and, and they enjoy it. And uh, it's... it's it's pretty awesome. Right You've had some real tight games, uh, Downingtown West, uh, West York, Middletown most recently. How much will those experiences help you come the postseason? Well, that's that's the whole reason that we've been successful, you know, in my opinion, is, is playing those bigger teams and stronger stronger opponents. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just part of the course if, if we want to continue to take, um, you know, that step every, every year to be a little bit better. Um, when it comes to the program. Um, if I had a nickel for every time a fan asked me, Paul, is it going to be Wyo and Wilson in the girls' county final? I could probably retire mm -hmm. right now. I'm sure you get the same thing. I saw you over at Governor Mifflin when Wilson played there. Uh, what did you think of the, the Bulldogs in that game? Listen, I mean, they're, they're a young team. We see your posts, and, and they are. They're a young group, um, and, and they're very well coached, and, and they are they're, they're a good team. Um, but I'm not, I don't get caught up in, in the stuff <laughs> ahead of hand. We're looking at their next game, and with this week, with all the snow, who knows the next time we're going to play. Well, I always appreciate your time, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you.